and we're live in the server, ready to go here on Ancient. Center starting off on the T side. Looks like we might be getting some juice here in towards mid. Narot is in the server. Okay. All right. Narot, their coach, is in the server. No Jedker. So that isn't what we expected to see. And that does not bode well for nine. Yeah. Let's see what Narot's got. Center is pressuring on towards the A site. Hades can't get a kill, but the coach will. Oh, and here we go. Follow up. And all right. Coach Narot getting her done. Ripping some heads. Maybe this is the firepower upgrade they need. That'll be the story. Oh, Zedka needed that Bomb. kill. He really needed it. Oscar is not winning this round. Look at the ball out in the open. Get some rotates. Unless. 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 Goofy and Norot. Oh, Shadow. Shadow, he knows Goofy's there. Now he certainly knows, but doesn't mean he can hit the head. He is locking this down on the other no side. Way. Spots him. He got the bomb. He's away. He has robbed them and waits. Oh, I love the idea of waiting there. Gonna have time to get this plant down. The player's rotating through caves, so there is plenty of time indeed. They're trying to run him down, but they do no such thing. Pressure on. Goes for the burst. All right, Oscar. Look, getting a bomb plant out of that is a slick maneuver. That's good enough. <laughs> Absolutely. I can't, can't even believe he got it to, to be. Um, I thought as soon as the bomb was spotted by the CTs, uh, CTs they would just have one in red room, two in donut. How on earth would he pick it up? Uh, but a big boon there for Sinners. And we know the second round can be very potent. I'm even more confused now because for um, Jedka actually wasn't the signing for nine. It was, I forget, it's called Jacob, I think is the name of the player. Um... But then Jedka was listed, and now we're even more confused because the coach is actually playing. We'll try and get confirmation on that because it's uh, a bit of a mess. Let's put it that way. I choose to dive into this glorious mess and watch Hades with an XM. Where is Hades? Oh, pushing A main. I like the idea of pushing A main, and actually if he gets bold, he can shrink this down because right now sinners are just, you know, waiting to see if something comes their way. But it seems like they're just going to go for this aggressive default, which I don't mind. Kyro in the corner. Goofy gets head rip. One for one. That's not ideal. That's a huge kill from B-Stick. Now the site's lost. Bombs down. There's no fast rotation. This is a really tough spot for nine. This is one of those where a conservative team might even just pull the trigger. But Narot getting the kill as a star. And it is! Narot setting this up. Leaving it into a 1v2. Now just down to the clutch. Hades has a lot of ground to cover. And he's got the XM to do it. Might be able to grab a Galil on route. Is there a rifle down? No. All right, she's going to have to do this with the XM. Why not get frisky with the auto shoddy? Black doesn't blind. Oscar reveals his position, and now the XM is swinging in. All right, Nora does it again to put his team back into the angle. Allow Hades to clutch and get them the 2-0. What a play from the coach. If this is going to set the tone for the series, I think we're all for it. <laughs> Nora, he ran through a smoke. Here in the back. That kill was an assassination. He picked up another. I thought uh, the transfer was going to land, man. That was that looked good. He's in great form. I think he got the dink even and set up I the SMG did, for just a yeah. quick kill. He's also playing so aggressive. You normally see the standards be the most reserved. Uh, that is not the mantra. All those shots he to end it. So it is a round win for nine. But still, they have no money. It's another buy for Sinners with more loss bonus. They've managed to muster a couple AKs as well. So nine have to keep their wits about them because a reset, especially in CS2, is uh, is a scary prospect. I gotta say though, Narot's got me sitting up straight in the chair. They're leaving with solo anchor A. Come on, put him in star rolls. Get him in this mid fight. I like this idea of the deep smoke and the player tucked in the corner. It's not a bad idea. The problem is once they get wise to it, you can't keep it right. 
They can just nade the corner or molly the corner and then come through. Kyler's going to back up with the smoke starting to fade, you know, getting into a more conservative angle. Really tough to hold at the MP9 here in towards Red Room. Would have preferred a donut play, but he wants the rotation. So he's just going to jump spot and get the info and presumably bail out or set up one of his rifling teammates to, to try and get if he actually does spot action. Good flashbang, good peek off of it. They get the info, they get the damage on Zedko. Kill, but how on earth? Shock! He thought he had a blinded opponent. He did, but he couldn't find the kill. Shock instead hits the head. And it's a man advantage for centers, even with the health looking a little dire for a couple of their players. That's a big find. And it's pulled all the A pressure off to deal with mid. There's so much going on right now. It was an A fake, then mid to get blocked. Now B stick is applying pressure. I'm not surprised nine are leaning out of A. They might even save here once the bomb goes down because they're so out of position. There are no. kits. No, yeah, they're alive. going for it. Flank is on. Nairot's flanking. The star is on the server. Come on, Nairot. Peek. Peek. <gasps> Just spots Oscar. Just spots him getting around the corner. Nairot! Takes no prisoners. These players are so low. The defense is so low. Quartz is the only healthy player in towards Donut. Quartz, down for the count. It's just one man. Shock has no health. Norrot, three-piece on the retake. Again, getting it done. The coach stepping up to the plate and only hitting homers. His name is Norrot, and he hits dingers. He's been great. He's been so decisive as well. I don't think Sin has played a bad round here. I think they mid-rounded as bad as well as they could. No, yeah. I mean, they, they got a little lucky, I think, on the shock kill towards the, the cave player. I thought that was a really nice idea from Nine. Just didn't work out for them. But the fact that they don't manage to get one of these... They've had some good rounds, right? Like, I, they've gotten into situations where we're saying, this kind of looks like a save. And just, no, Nora refuses to allow it to happen. He has as many kills as the rest of his team put together. Now they continue. Actually, more. He has more kills than the rest of his team put together. They have He's seven so kills together. He and he's eight. Fight. Oh my god, he's just, he's just dragging out of control. Okay, this time Nora gets taken <laughs> down. Some good damage, sets up a teammate. And this is going to be a good one, you know? Puts himself in the power spot, but Oscar... All right, starting to get some juice going with the dig. It won't last. Player in the cubby. Do you get any more damage? No. How long is this going to continue? Oh, I mean, Nora just brawling, man. I just can't believe how aggressive he is. He just wants so many fights. It's a little bit bizarre to see. You normally see in this position, they'll be the one, you know, tossing all the nades over whilst the keys, the Kylars, the Goofies of the world are taking the jewels. Not the case. Norot's slipping into some, you know, pretty uh, potent positions and roles. And is playing like he is that player at the moment. Why not? You just gotta understand, right? CS2, even more than go. It's just a confidence game. You gotta swing, swing or be swung. Oscar catches Hades here, but Kyron does get straight in towards mid. Still, this B presence is a problem. Key tries to deal with it. Everybody's there, and he's just not ready. So, man advantage sinners. We've seen these fall apart again before because one man's on the server. Talking about Norot, who's just here and ready to try and sell nades on him, but not finding him. It's all about when this window peak comes through, if he does. For now, Norot can control this space, and he's that ever-present threat, and they've just got no information on the rest of the map, so it's all about Norot. He's going for it, he's going for the peak, he's got the kill! He's got the kill, Alan! He's so good! What is happening right now? He's just the best player on the server, and he's playing like it! The confidence is unreal, and the man advantage has just been seized back. Sinners tried to pause, right? Tried to bump the brake, saying, we got the man advantage, let's sit, let's see what they do. And what do they do? They let loose the secret weapon. Norot. Oscar Big trying kill. to open back into the site. He does. All right, there's still legs to this, but they may not expect Goofy to be on hand. Goofy's trying to give them nothing. There's the smoke up. There's the utility. Just waiting for them to play in and Quirts ready for that peak, but it's all about the star and Norot this time he can't get it done. Okay. Still some life in sinners then. Big kill from Oscar. And they're all man down. The crazy part in that round from nine is the way they just committed to be the whole time. They didn't move. Norot was so confident that he had the players 
cocooned in, stuck on that lane. Paid for the perfect time. Even so, just about around. I think keep an eye on Key. He has been entried a couple of times in Jag. Um, and it looks like he's playing a little bit wild with how he's choosing to face. So I need to shore up that position. It's so crucial. Really changes the dynamic of the defense if you lose it. Um, and as good as Norox been, we need some backup. And I can't believe I'm saying that we need to back up Norox. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Why not indeed? I love it. I'm here for it. Oh, it's all about the same aim fight. Do you crash into the nose? players here no they don't how are they alive they have nades quartz is in trouble now yeah but they line up a little bit awkward on the movement there from key and kyla it didn't look like they were on the same page and that's both m4s both big guns now down in temple they're not gonna want to push that a main kind of a no man's land for the rest of this round you'd imagine and how did nine play this with two pistols and an smg could aggress back in nine, but it's so far from the rest of the map. Mid space taken. Around. There's such a huge gap here. Nora isn't isn't peaking either. Kays has just come off from deep in the red room to play B site proper. The map is completely bisected. They could split either site. Mm. If um, they go A, it's done. There's no way you can play this with an I think SMG. It's B. Look at where B stick's playing, but surely Hades and uh, and Goofy here have no idea. It, it should be impossible. Yeah, Goofy's been spotted back too. They, they, they can't. You can't just ignore the presence. And so they do get swept off. It was a slim glimmer of hope. They completely give up mid and then play B like they haven't, which is uh, a hell of a gamble. But as we said, once you lose the two M4s, it's imagine a way back into this. In their winning round streak. This is a full force fire around those guns. And look at the eco. Basically, basically, this is nothing. Full USPs. And uh, needless to say, I think they're going to aggress A. Let's go. Congo line. Alright, hear me out. They find the bomb. Ah, they're going mid. If they went full chain through CT, or through T rather, Kylon there was might. a world where it gets funny. Kylon might. Yeah, but yeah, one, one USP is not nearly as possible as five USPs. He's found the bomb, but he's dead is the problem, and so is everyone else. There was a world where they full chain out through spawn, find the bomb, and then full five defend the bomb through doors, and things get very funny. But, sinners, fortunately for them, that doesn't happen. Easy anti-eco round. Move on to the next. Now, with a shot to tie again. I need to see a round where Nine wins it and Nora doesn't kill everybody. I need a good take of map control. I need good mid-rounding. I disagree. Give me more Nara at highlights. I would also be amenable to that. O and Oscar started to heat up with the AWP now that he's got it in his hands, right? The last couple rounds that are actually gun rounds, not talking about the USPs. You know, he was uh, a big piece of the openers. Mm. That's the way you want things to go if you're sinners. Are they going to respect the smoke? Just gone down. Papa Narot's here, man. Be afraid. Shock's holding uh, a HE. They've thought about wiping it. They are going to go, I think. Smokes are over, but this is telegraphed and then some, especially Nora on the boot. Murph goes his way. Traded in the end. Hades spraying wildly. Kyla is nearby, fortunately. This is an absolute mess. I need to get out. Players flooding in the side too. B sticks in a different postcode from his teammates. And soon enough, his smoke's going to fade, and that bomb pump becomes a little bit harder. Ooh, all right. Nice shot. Goofy trying a little bit of a cheeky maneuver out in the open. Flank late in the donut. This is just no world where Kylar's ready for that. This is over. Unless, unless you deliver him the bomb. He's not got the health for the duel though. So without the headshots, it's gonna be a tied score. 
And that is very much working out for Sinners. They've got some bank built up at this point. They've now run four rounds in a row. Things are looking a little dire for Nine. I have to say, the thing that I find concerning for Nine, we've seen a couple of rounds now where, yeah, they're in mound down situations, and sometimes you just have to risk it and gamble. But they kind of just forget some of the pathing that players can take on Ancient. We're seeing a lot of like players getting flanked out, getting shot in the back, with no idea that a player could be behind them. And that's a, a little unusual to see. That's the engagement. Move the way off. I think. Interesting. Uh, I think the big concern actually is that Nine have been in good macro positions and not closed out these rounds. That last one, they had two on the side proper. Players coming for a smoke at that. And Kyla was nearby. And the initial defense wasn't brilliant. Um, trades in the way sinners, so. Be stick. He's lucky to be alive. Hello, Fortune, on that one. Second player's pushing in. They want to fight this. They want to fight this. So they know there's two players in towards B. It's a 3v4. They could just leave. They said they want to keep the pressure up, knowing that these are two pistols in towards sight. And indeed, they're just going to brawl. They're going to brawl everybody here. It's not great positions for the pistols. Let's see if they can get anything done. They're both looking cave, and they're both dead as a result of that. Neglected B main, B stick capitalizes, and it's four players surviving for sinners as they slide into the lead. They're looking great. Looking brilliant. And we know a map is at least full lineup for nine. We expect good things on Ancients. This, though, will be the first round for Hades of an orb. Imagine a double orb, Nora, with the big green. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Where's he playing? Give him. He's big green. He's going A. He's been so aggressive is the thing. I kind of wonder what he's going to do with the art. So we'll hold peeking towards A main. I like it. I like the juice. Sinners are showing a lot of respect to potential B main aggression. I'm going to do the old flash and then fork through the door. Try and catch the cave player peeking. No peeking. But it's pressure on towards A. They're just rolling through. It's a smoke. So that's not going to slow them down. And there's a kill. A trade. But Hades. On the spot with the off, Hades showing why they just needed to get him the big green. It's all on to Oscar. 1v4, this should be impossible. Bomb lost, out of control, no chance to recover it either. He's probably just going to try and do some damage, maybe pick some players off from the periphery. The money's not a concern for sinners, they've got plenty of it. But if he could get a couple guns out of the hands of nine, he makes them a little bit more brittle for these last two rounds. So that's his, uh, his idea right now, he's hunting. Scope sound heard. He's got the info. And nine are just desperate not to give up another casualty. Hades. Hades misses. No reason really to re-peak. If you're the CT side, bit of a flash, but given the time, and also his posturing. Say. Yeah. He's giving this one up. Big round then from Hades. He locks down this side of the map. They played an AWP to either site. Um, to try and stop these these site hits. Well, he's trying to do mental the way math up. right now about whether... So there's two rounds remaining. Beastic is 10k. Oscar essentially is 10k. He could just go for it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It really makes a difference. If he was rifling, I bet he just faces, but... Oh, yeah. It is pretty hard to get a good fight. And the B site? Yeah, it's an off. Not ideal. B site off, not ideal. I would say. These are big kills. I mean, he's he's playing in front of a smoke behind him on dark. If he dies, that is site. That's a bomb plant. Um, so credit. The credit's due to Hades. We were wondering about his impact. He's been slow to start, but this is the first time he's had the big green and immediately gets a three, so. Could it be uh, the winds have changed for nine? They've already let a lot around slip in this first half. Looked a little tough in some of these late rounds. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's what you need. Race car peek out of cave. That's how they started this map, but we haven't had it in a little while. Key got a little more timid about it. 
But now they seize control of mid. They drop that smoke. That's going to reinforce. They're boosting. They're boosting. Oh, the spot on the boost. Damage done, but they live. Heavy damage on the two remaining players. Mm. And now they've lost B-Stick, so they've lost the B-Main Thrust. Sinners really have nothing to go on, right? They have nowhere to, to move with this, Alan. I like the setup. Nora as well just sat back on A. He can seed ground if players did come. Ha! <laughs> Oscar knows his angles. That's a good kill. Smoke from the doors should prevent much more aggression. And whilst it's nice of Oscar to hold all of this attention, he has the bomb. He needs to sprint. Just indeed, the window's closing 30 seconds, but they haven't rotated full yet because they hadn't seen that bomb, right? They're wondering, where's the second punch? Where's the counter punch? And I actually like the idea from Kylar to sort of give up the site, but make sure that they've got mid control. So now they can get ready for the retake, right? Bomb plant still hasn't come in. Shock. I'm doing this with double ops. It's real weird. It's real weird. Played in, but that was the bait, right? They knew the check would come in. Still goofy punishes it. And that's going to be the round. Shark might even just get clocked here. The round goes the way of nine. And indeed, Shark clocked. Does that... That does matter now. That matters. I think one player is going to be without a gun. Oscar's going to try and redistribute the wealth. Maybe a Galil? Is there one player missing? Yeah, one Galil. I think there's an AK on the ground. Oh, he's going D. He's going oh D. Lord, okay, yeah. Yeah, that was a uh, shock. Shock needed to either die or keep that off alive. And now, he's not going to have a good time this final round. And he's the top frag right now. Onto a, uh, onto a dig. Hasn't been any individual standout player, but Quartz going to stand down in this one. But into the dirt. Key, key, and mind advantage. you. Oscar brings oh it back. Oh, my lord. This is a real weird engagement now. And Key having slipped fast. Will capitalize, but it's just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It's on the Zedco and Shock. Shock, unfortunately, stuck on this D, tries to just get out of the angle. But look Me at Zedco's position. He's all the way in spawn. Narot's like, I don't know which way I'm fighting here, brother. Look at the CTs. They're all running to clean and the bomb's up. bomb's back in T spawn. Yeah, what they is don't. Happening? They're not aware the bomb is so far out. But if Zedco now needs to here. <laughs> Now Shock has nothing to go on. He knows they were all there. So it's like, okay, do I rotate back? He'll have a chance to grab a gun at least. Because there's no presence in mid. But he's nervous about it. He's not confident in this. He's got 45 seconds to try and bring something through. And actually, as he's inching forward, they're shifting in a donut. This is the perfect read from nine. All about timing here. But the trade is there. It's all good. And nine, they have a strong start and a strong finish. Don't worry about the mid parts. Definitely don't. A little bit interesting, but either way, uh, a bizarre half and a bizarre ending too. We'll see if in the second half it stays just as crazy because we did nothing wrong. So
love it, you wear it. What's your style? Get your merch at shop.eslgaming.com. Second half underway here between nine and sinners. A nine. Look, they got the pretty shiny score line pistol? for it. For sinners. Okay. All right. Full well, they got this wrong, haven't they? Look at this. Yeah. Bomba down. Can he get anything out of this? No. So it's all right on the retake, but uh, it is going to be a little slow. And they don't. They do have a kit. They do have a kit. Okay. Beastic has a kit. That makes us a lot more viable. B6 coming from the CT side, so he at least needs to get into the site proper before dying. And Kylar, early tag, drops B stick, kick can be retrieved. Shock has it, but they need to get these kills quickly. Cave's gonna be a tough fight. Oscar gets it, shock the next. Kylar trying to stall this out, but he's out of position. They can just get on the defuse. And indeed, that's what they're gonna do. Shock's on the defuse. Wow. And it will be the round claim for centers. That was one hell of a retake. Um, we do know that in CS2 it is it's a, it's a more viable way to play. It's to lean heavily onto one side. I thought they'd bitten off more than they could chew with this one, but beautiful stuff. Looking good. Even so, it was a plant for nine. They are going to invest. Free Galil's already. No AK for the look of it. Uh, and Nades is definitely lacking a tad, so... More of a contact sort of play. Expect. Just release Nora. Send them in. The raid boss. I don't know if his powers transfer to the second half. It is hilarious that he is still top fragging, though. Not a great sign for his uh, players, but let's see if he can do it. He was the reason. Genuinely the reason why nine have this good of a scoreline. The, the first half, there were a lot of rounds where nine get to man down situations and Mora pulls off a multi kill to somehow deliver them the round. Like, this would not be nearly as good were it not for the country. And this time, he ain't gonna do nothing. I ain't doing nothing with that one. And B Stick is no. about to find a bomb. And it's over. It's a great hold from Zinners. These rounds are so scary, they're really hard to deal with. Making it look a little bit easy, especially with Shock in the perfect time. Are you really going to run around the whole map, Kylar? I think he is. Why not? If he goes Why through not? B and into Jag... He could get something. He'd get a gun. There's a gun down on Quartz, right? There's something to do here. There must I mean, be a like, Galil down. This is definitely the most advantageous angle. I don't know if I'd say it's a good one. But it Here is we go. the most added. Here we oh go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kylar! All the way through red. Kills I, found. I don't think he has time, you know. He might just have to brawl it out. And Oscar coming back in. We'll capitalize. Still, I mean, talk about making something out of nothing. That must have been a shock. Hey. Poor. Pun intended? No. <laughs> Somewhat. He's kind of unavoidable. Let's do play him. Hmm. Well, he made the round expensive. Give him credit. Yeah. Something out of nothing. It's like when Oscar pulls off the bomb plant in a 1v3 in the first half, you know? You, get, you take a terrible situation and you make it at least slightly less awful. Now, the problem is your economic damage, you really do need to follow up with some damage into this round, and this is going to be tough. Looks like it's an eventual attempt to bulldoze on towards B. Can't I've seen a key that. Eagle. I've seen a key eagle. A keagle? Uh, That's a different thing. Apparently. Is that actually a word? Keagles? Keagle. Yeah. Yeah. I'll explain to you when you're older. No, it's a, it's a certain muscle group that's generally associated with uh, something. Kyle are gonna get one, one for one. They're looking for something here. They've overrun cave. This is some juice now. They've got a gun and a second, and the bomb might just be on its way to plant. Hey, Hades. Come on. What about you being the point man with the bomb? And okay, B stick. Just taking all the danger out of this round. He will find one more, so at least it's damage done. The economic impact will be felt. 
but it's sinners who slide into the lead. I've just found some very interesting articles. <laughs> you googling kegels? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you can work your kegels too. I don't think it's a problem for me. But it might be a solution, Alan. Oh. Mustache Masters. There you go. There you go. All about the health here. Exactly. Keep it tight, Alan. Keep it tight. All right. Do what best. do we got in this one? Oscar's got an op. I like that. There's also a couple of SMGs. You gotta like that a little less if you're sinners. Let's see what they can do with it. Early damage. A little harassment. And right now, Zedko's holding the line. Oh, God. And he's got shock as well. Don't ah, walk almost. into that. Okay. He's trying to avoid that. What is the move? So they were going to hit A to get blocked by all the util. Oscar's uh, seeing nothing in mid. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, though, because you do still have key. So you drop the smoke to allow the window peek. You've got the spot down. I'm actually surprised they're not flash peeking with Quartz to just get a little bit more information about whether the elbow is clear. It is right now. Zedko's gone aggressive in A main. That's a huge find. Now that limits the options for nine. You might see Sinners rotate a player around. And indeed, yeah, Shock getting on his horse and he's riding. Right? They get that pick. They shut down that area. Now try and bring the numbers in towards B, anticipating that this is the way the hit has to go. The bomb is isolated from the rest of the team, which personally, not a fan of. Leave so many opportunities for Hades to get caught but just the way it's broken in. Now, flashbang's unfortunate. Decent damage out of it. Quartz committed himself into the angle of that flash. Uh, Hades might die with the bomb. He's got to get up on the ledge alive. Ah, Oscar looked at just the wrong time. Oscar was holding that. That could have been the round. Still, they have to get out of cave. They've only got this cave presence, and nades are now flying in. The utility's harassing them. 20 seconds. They're running out of time. More nades in. Look at the damage. Big kill first, but Goofy's dropped. It's really tough. Hades has to plant this bomb. Now that occupies one of the sets of hands. He's going to make a big play on the smoke fade, but he's done. Nice shot from Oscar. All onto Hades. The captain, can he do it? Oh! Barely dropped just in the nick of time. Zenko and Oscar playing together. Turns out to be the key piece. And so, by the tips of their fingers, Sinners will bring this round through. They had to fight for it. Nonetheless. They had to absolutely fight for it. So much going on in that round. And they are lucky boys getting the bomb near B, I think. But even then, they only had the cave presence. It's kind of the undoing. Either way, Sin is not out of the woods. No loss bonus. Two players, sub 50. Oscar's only got 400. So there's still good chances for Nine to break this cash of their opponents. For some low buys. Very intent on blocking any mid control. Free mid start. So these players can now swing from the ledge if they so choose to. Good fight onto Zedko. But Shock is committed. And when does he activate? That's unfortunate for Shark. Just turns his back. Narok gets the timing here. Maybe thought his donut player was picking that up. And now they've lost a second player as well, though. Okay. Trying to Batman his way out of the smoke. He gets cut down. So a three on three. It's not a terrible situation. And again, nine are super spread. And reclaiming mid. Zedko's now cleared this out. Oh, no. Oh, this is being read so well by Sinners. The bomb's rotating over towards B. You've now established this mid presence, which means that Zedko has the timing for this backstab whenever he wants it. There was an engagement in mid, so Nine may not expect this. They're checking for window, but B sticks getting aggressive. B main. This is this is getting real weird. Spicy spot the player. He gets the kill. Spots the bomb as well. They got confirmation. Now they know they have them hemmed in. Oscar has to hold him into cave, but he has a back line. He has a rifler as well to set this up, and Oscar's not missing much. The nade might just finish it. Narot low. 17 points of health. The coach, he's got the world on his shoulders, and there's just nowhere to get out. There's no way. He was hemmed in. He was encircled. That's all about Zedko. Getting aggressive in mid, taking that space, getting that information. That's a beautiful maneuver, and it means that Sinners now just keep stacking the wins on this CT side. It's also the, the, the communication in the mid rounding to recognize, right, what do we know? We know there's nobody mid. We know there's a player in Jag. 
and nobody's moved for ages on nine to be any presence, we can gamble this is B. And if it's not B, exactly what happened is going to transpire. They're going to try and come off, off the shelf, off the ledge. And then you can pound your trap. So, good setup and execution from Sinners. And they've done the hard work. They've survived the onslaught of continual buys. Finally now forcing a half buy. And this is a great opportunity now to squeak ahead. Well, it should have been. It should have been. Still can recover here, but it's going to be tough. That's bomb, but the shot doesn't land. Zed go. goes flanked. Grounded. Zed goes flanked. Look at this. Oh, he goes forward. That's one way to deal with being flanked. He doesn't realize there's a player all the way in the back lines, though. Kylo could do it all again. Oh, they have no idea. They have no clue. It's all about Kylar here. It's all about Kylar. Oh, he's going to have this kill. He's got it indeed. And now it's all falling apart. B-Stick is, is in the wrong zip code. It's You can't do anything about this. This round is over. This is nightmare fuel. This should have been the gimme. <laughs> They've done all the hard work versus the buy rounds. And for this one to slip. And the money's gone too because it came down to a clutch on the last, right? This money is evaporated. You have 1,400 loss bonus coming in here. If B6 saves this gun, he can, I guess, drop something over. But it's going to be double eco territory for Shock. It's not going to be far off from that for Quartz. There's a world where you just say to heck with it and force in. I think mean, they might have to. They're not going to be loss bonus. Yeah, it's... It's going to be a tricky situation. It's borderline. But it's, it's, it's one of those where there is no good decision, is there? Because you, well, you, you could drop a couple pistols off of B-Stick and Oscar and just kind of roll with it. I almost think he needs to full save to guarantee another rifle in the next. But it looks like the intent is obvious. Immediate M4 drop. Oscar can buy for himself, but guaranteed a couple players here on pistols. Yeah, they're going all in. All right. All right. Got to justify it now. What does Oscar get out? Can do a rifle. Could it's do been so good on the AWP as well. It's a shame. It's been a huge weapon. Mm. I can't deploy it. They need Even to buy the head armor. Yeah, they need to buy a bit less head armor. <laughs> I can get yeah, a kit out at least. Funny, yeah. There's an M4 on the other side, I guess, but... Two the head actually. armor. Norot. Norot. You need it. Nah, he knows. He's just faster on the trigger than I'll shoot him. Key has finally taken the mantle of top frag away from Norot, so. That would have been a, a lifetime of bragging rights. That would have been every time a player complains, you just say, hey, you remember that time I out fragged you on Ancient? As the coach, to rub it in their face. That's the dream. Leverage. Black Beast mail. it down. That's one of the rifles out immediately. That's a big problem, but it's going to be improved if Norot runs in holding utility. What about that one, Chief? It's been a very good map for you. Let's not uh, get Goofy with it now. But Goofy is still on the server. Oscar is as well. Kylar thought he'd gotten around the pillar. Didn't have a good read on the timing there, and now... Well, it doesn't really matter because there's no one to defend B except for a P250. And now there is only a P250 in the server. Some moments here mm. for centers where you thought they might have had something, but it's going to be an eco coming in the next. Yeah. And shock mm. might even just save this armor. Maybe stick around for a gun. Or the, uh, bomb is so deadly. Yeah, he's dead if he tries to stay. And all the guns are on the other side of the site. He could get all the way. I mean, if he like full sprint marathons, maybe he gets around A main and gets one of those guns dropped. But uh, no, he's going to go for damage instead. He'll find himself on the business end of Goofy's rifle. Well. It's looking very good for nine now. That half by win has totally changed the complexion of this half. It forced a weak buy. It gives them better money because they can just scoop rifles off the ground. Now it's Sinners having to eco. Should be 10 all. And nine with a lot of money in the bank too. There's not a lot of rounds left really in this half, so we can buy a lot of those as well. 
was rough. There was rough points in this game for nine, but I think if you're a Polish fan, you feel a lot better about yourself. He's just got himself a gun at least. I want that USP kill. Problem is, well, uh, it did require that they full stack the B site to get it. So bomb's gonna go down. Nine still being diligent in their clears as always. But we are gonna have a tight scoreline here. This has been a swingy, swingy game, right? It starts off four in a row for nine. Get five back for sinners. Three to close. Five to open the second half. Just back and forth the pendulum goes. Given the asterisks, it's not a good look for sinners if they can't win this map. And they've been in good positions. Some work to do for them. Beast can hold on to this AK, it will give them a bit more money. Ten apiece. This must be an upper bracket game as well. I'm getting a little bit confused. There's so many different parts. It is. Bracket. <laughs> it's a it bit is hard indeed. to follow. It is an upper bracket game. Uh, loser of this is playing. I think it will flip. I think it'll be the Movistar for the winner. It'll be the Movistar for the winner. I think so. Okay. I might be wrong. It might flip in the next round. Winner plays Spirit, which is yeah. Spicy. That that isn't a great day in the office. Uh, it's just a fun matchup, I think, either way. Whoever it is about this. Oh, I said Cole taking so much damage. These mollies. He's just trying to get the aggressive angle, and they're just putting a curtain of fire down, but Shock gets the opener, so it's worth it. It is well worth it. 5v4 now for centers, but we've seen man advantages slip away from teams again and again and again. It's all about the teammate for Ross. They're just walking up. The shadow gives it away. Beastie's ready. Beastie gets the second. No. Almost. Quirks brings it through. Gets the trade. Knows Hades is right behind it. Does a duel with Hades now. And will find damage. He won't find the kill. Allows the chance for the bomb plant. That goes so likely. low. Is he really going to fight this? No <laughs> way. <laughs> He's so aggressive. But he just giving his team a great chance. Either. Now he's got the info on the last. He'll get the kill as well. Why not? Walks through the fire. The begin. And ends it with some flames. Sinners back in the lead here. And three players surviving as well, Alan. That's perhaps most important. They're giving themselves just a little bit of cushion to try and fight for these last two rounds. It's getting spicy. Very spicy here at the end. I would definitely have the money for another buy, especially with the plant. I can't believe Zedko is, is actually willing to fight back onto the site there. That takes a pair. And he's got him. Here we go then. It's the call from nine. Falling around. Missed window smoke. Zedko's to play around this now. Calls to his teammates. I can't see anything. Seen a lot of rounds of players jumping up and fighting against me. This could be another. Ooh. There we go. All right, Key fight delivers some spice. Key tried to walk the smoke. He was red, but Beast is lost towards B main. This is a problem. Zedko getting aggressive window again. The aggression is paying off for sinners. Now they have Rufy stuck. Rufy can't stay alive. And his teammates have an isolated duel and now an isolated site. They could just rock on through in towards A. The rotations are late for centers. Oscar's just now trying to get into Donut. Could have an angle to deny a bomb if they stray too far forward. They have a smoke? They don't have a smoke. Alan, they don't have a smoke. <laughs> get away with one there. And the Molotov means that they can get the bomb planted. Counter Molly is late. And now the bomb ticking away. This is a lot more viable. They hold on to A main to fight from. Might be time for another Norot star turn. And this time, he's not ready for the angle of approach. It's all on to Kylar. Smoke goes down. They're not ready for him. But a 1v2 still required. And Quartz will shut it down. Map point found for centers. One of the next two. And they're through on map number one. Yeah, yeah. Bit more work to do. To win the series. Mess of a round. He must have thought there couldn't have been a player behind that smoke. Or at least he could have got around the left side and then. Whatever further than not to be. 
It's been relentless this map. Both teams are very intent on just winning the duels in mid. Or especially getting up onto that, that ledge window and fighting down into the B lane. So exactly the same from 9 when they were on the defense. It feels like a lot of these rounds getting decided before we even get into the middle eight. Because there's so many fights early on. Shark just blind firing catches. Kylo as his vision clears. Uh, been Mike, they've used all nine. their smokes. They've used all of them. Key oh. has to do something because there's no easy way onto a site. Well, he did something. Found Oscar. Found the A defender. So all this mid control could be for naught if he can't hold on to the site. And now he's zoned out on the right spot, right? He's watching for this donut peak. Ah, timing is unfortunate. There's no smokes though for donut. Yeah, this is a problem. Planting's hard. They need to just Planting's fight him. They need to just fight. They don't even have a molly like they did last time to secure the plant. Goofy swinging. Goofy going. Key, you gotta keep eyes on. Okay, Hades slides into the angle. Hades, good for the shot. There it is. And with this, this should be a save for sinners. They do not have the money to risk these guns. In a 3v4 with no utility coming back the other way, you gotta back off. You got to back off. You do not want to play for overtime with pistols. Is it just me, or does it feel like Sinner should have had a lot more players on that site? Look at this ragdoll and elbow. My guy's doing some synchronized swimming poses. He's getting Wait, some I need to see it again. <laughs> For Kylar's oh, body, that is. Yeah. Mm. Just doing the, the, the aerial splitsies. Excellent. Hopefully they exit that way. I want to see it. He's ready. Turn, turn. Oh, oh. You can just barely see it. He's ready for the rockets. Terrorists win. Goofy? 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 Doesn't get the kill. That would have been huge. That would have been a difference making kill. Oh, full regulation required. Funky ground. It looks so good from them at the start, doesn't it? I guess showing all that mid presence did leave Key a big bad gap on A. And uh, Key has fired up. He's going into the middle late stage of this map. Last round. Zedko's on an MP7. Love to see it. Let's yeah, say so he's going to get aggressive with that. He's been aggressive, right? Those B main peaks, those window peaks. It's been a huge piece of it. It's not going to go for the deep window aggression this time. Not really a fight you want to do with the MP7. Uh, still some heat could be in, flashing in towards cave. Oh, three players here ready to fight back. This could be really spicy. Big numbers here for this cave fight. Utility exchange. Here's the spray down. It's good. No, it's not. Never mind. Key finds it all. It's looking like overtime. This is looking like overtime. They need a hero play from Shocker Oscar, and Shock's about to get shot in the back on this smoke fade. Now he's got the right idea. He clears out Kylo. There's a chance, at least in this round. He's got that kill. Now they get a chance for the retake. Man advantage still for nine. Bomb now ticking away. Pressure on. Oscar and Shock. Someone's got to be a hero. Someone's got to be great. Shock. Able to avoid the first shot, but he's stuck, and he knows it. But he slipped into cave. He slipped past the AWP. Now this is, adds a different dimension to it. Three corners. Not ready for it. Key continuing his star turn in this round. Fourth kill found. He has skyrocketed to the top of the board. He might just have secured overtime. Oscar out of time. Out of chances. No kit. No opportunity. We're going for more, Alan. We're going for OT. Absolutely. One of those games where neither team can just have the kill a blow and get it done. I was I was scared. As soon as they had three players there in the cave, it's like, what are your choices right now? We're we gonna uh, we surely can't stay in here and get sandwiched. Well, hmm. the only option left is to get aggressive through that little it, murder hole. And then made my it up feel more. through this map in terms of like general vibe. Tell me if this rings true for you, Alan. I feel like sinners have played a better the macro game in a lot of rounds but nine have had just enough of these big plays key getting a 4k in that last round kyler walking his way all the way through ct uh, norot doing whatever the heck norot was doing through the first five six rounds to keep them in it potentially you have to ask though why are there gaps in sinners you know calling and, uh, and communication maybe a uh, lapse of concentration at times has been the difference 
I think Nine are, are, are playing a hard brand of Counter Strike. They're also reacting so fast every time they get information. They're so decisive. Um, so I think credit to Nine actually for, for making it difficult. This round's much slower. Slow mid take. Red run smoke landing. A bit of a spam. So we need to spot that. And is Zedko going to peek? He's in front of the donut smoke. He is. He needs a flashbang. You're just going to swing with nothing? Okay. I don't know what result he expected. Ah, uh, he is dead. Yes, looking tough now. Lost kind of the angle. Hmm. That's They're shifting back towards B, which actually goes in towards the stronger side of the Sinner's defense. Nine maybe didn't pull the rotation as aggressively as they expected. They've still got numbers for the site fight, but could shift quickly. That's unfortunate. Oscar repositioning just as they come through. Quartz has to come up big, and he's only got one. Beastic holds on to K, but pressure's on now, and he can't do anything about this plant, really. Moving out, Hades is ready for that. That's a great read, great setup from Nine. And it's going to be Nine who strike first in overtime, unless Shock pulls off something truly spectacular. I'm not sure he's got time. Maybe he just wants an AK. Doesn't really have the intent here, does he? Good round though from Nine. That kill from Kylar is round defining. I think if he dies to to Oscar, suddenly you've got two on B proper. You're not scared of a flank. And Oscar is, you know what, a two-second rotate of helping. Even man down, that would have been a great position for Sinners. Ah, uh, but Kylar. Quite proud of him. Flipping heads. We go again. Off we go indeed. Mm. Cool. Nine. I like getting Zedko aggressive down there. This was working really nicely in regulation. Away from it necessarily. No way. Oh, but this time, Nora, how has he done this? Just slipping through the smoke. Quartz gets caught off. Now they're in trouble. Now they're in trouble. Nora's all the way in. All right. The sleeping dragon has awoken He's once back. more. He's back. For those He's that missed back. the start of regulation, this was <laughs> what was happening. Norot, as a standing coach, just took the top spawn, ran into Jag, got a clean entry, ran through B, got in behind, and sealed the round. He's got no fear. I love it. He's got no fear. He's he he's him. He knows it. In a sense, he has nothing to lose, you know? <laughs> Sure. He's not he's not a professional player where his career is on the line. He has to have great performances. He is he's here to win. And he's sending it. A man right there from Nora. Exactly. Every man should aspire to be Nora. There we go. That's, you, you know, you may not like it, but that's what peak performance looks like. Absolutely. Oh my lord, are we right getting a B too. rush? Is it happening? I think we're getting a B rush. They're going for it. There's a lot of bodies here, a lot of you still have. Oh, it is punishing. Nine trying to play the counterplay, trying to keep them on their toes, but it has not worked out. Those toes, they're broken. It's all in Hades. The Yeet play has not paid dividends, and indeed it will be around on for Sinners. Those nine still need to find two to snatch their opponent's map pick. Reminder, this is Sinners map pick. Joining us, he's been a long saga to get here. It was Sinners who secured map point in regulation, mm. but they could not close. And now nine look to snatch it away, and it's the double up up Let's immediately go. given Nar at the big green. Let's go. It's because how they played regulation a lot, wasn't it? It was to mm. just leave Nora on a kind of passive stance uh, unless he, you know, gets aggressive early. 
Um, I think, then leave me temple. Last time, like straight name in. What's he gonna do this time? He always <laughs> glowers right. a temple though. After the uh, yeah. after the There's nobody there to push him back this time. Anyway. Ooh, Kylar hits the dink, but he doesn't have the AK. That's a big find early on. Some big damage onto the center side, but... Ooh, goofy, goofy, goofy. Do you have a flash? Do you have a flash? You have a flash. He had to turn, but B-Stick turned that beautifully. Straight out of play there from B-Stick. And here's where centers pump the brakes. Now, in regulation, sometimes when they pump the brakes, this is where things got away from them in the first half. But this time they've got control of mid, and that was what troubled them previously. So Nora wasn't on the angle the whole time here, so they have to be so scared of a walkthrough into the red room. That's why Hades is sat so deep on B. And even if Shock doesn't activate, surely it makes Key's life harder. They've just pulled off holding it entirely. They're taking a risk now. Aggression. This has to work. One for one's not good enough. Hades under such pressure here. Has to be the star. He's done it before. Has to deliver now. Flashbang's good. They don't go on it, but he's so blind. Ooh, Zetko! Get that utility away, son! What's happening here? Key! Trying to get around. <gasps> the flank. This is huge. Nara's holding it. There's a flank through CT as well, though. Hades may have just done enough. Time's running out. Time's running out. They don't have hands on bomb. Hades has looped him! Hades has looped him! They have no idea! They don't have time! 10 seconds! Oscar has to sprint it! Can he even get this bomb down to dirt? Five, four, three, no! He's lost it! Hades is left! He knows he's won this round! What a round from Hades! What a baller play! The op on site just taking kill after kill in a hopeless situation! This should have been impossible. Look at the minimap! Ah, he's, he's, he's double peaked from two completely different angles. It's like a 10-7 split in bowling. It shouldn't be possible. Never should have. Never should have done it. But he has. He has. And that's all that matters. And it means we're on map point here now. Hades may have just done enough. The new captain. The IGL. The upper. The do-it-all man. Damage all. Oh, well, that's the question. They're going full aggression on this. Nine wants ending here and now. Even situation, but the numbers, the health, it's not good. And the bomb, it's down. And Nine are loath to give this up. He's trying to get aggressive just with the D. He's done it. B-Stick's out. Oscar just has to try and escape, but Shark's found the kill on A. So now the escape route is open. The bailout option is on. They're chasing him down. It's a foot race now. Can they catch Oscar? Can they keep him from getting the bomb on? They can indeed. Oh, no. Oh, he slipped it. He slipped it. The shot misses. There's a chance to put this all to bed from Hades, but he can't catch. And now it's going to be the retake. Shark has gone so deep that he knows they're both on the flank now. Or at least he's got a pretty dang good idea, but... Oscar's they're going, gonna, they're gonna go to B, they're gonna go to B, they're all the way through, why not? All right, an absolute rigmarole of a round. They're just chasing after each other, shadow boxing here in Hades. Never expected the red room presence to stay. Key in a 1v2 now, all the ground to cover and none of the information. How on earth do you bring this back through? He's still wary of the red room presence, but they've given him the slip and Key is realizing, I'm not going to get the isolated fight I was hoping for. I better get a move on if I want to win this round. The plan is so good for Oscar. All these two have to do is play together, especially if Shock gets a shoulder peek on. This is so tough. It's going to be the stick. It has to be the stick. There's just no way. Key knows. He's out. He's out. With that 10 second going, he knew he had no chance. My goodness, sinners stay alive. How that is up there. Have they done this? That is up there with craziest rounds I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my lord. Can you believe Hades? I mean, we're not going to criticize him because he has held his team in a lot of these rounds, but what an opportunity to drop the bomb. And then this, this is one of those rounds where, for the replay, you barely even need the player perspective. Just the mini map tells the insane story of that last 2v2. Oscar was gonna plant A, and I think somebody told him that you're getting flanked right now. Go B instead. 
Holy smokes, if that's what it takes for Sinner to stay in these rounds. I'm not sure. <laughs> How much more energy do they have? Yeah, I'm not sure their blood pressure can take it. Beastic's already out on the beat. They're already out there in the spot. Flashbang sets it up, but Beastic gets the kill. Now that's likely a bomb plant, and this could be another round of overtime. Sharks claim the mid presence. It's all the advantages on nine. What can they deliver? Good flashbang. Goofy risking the flames to at least give his team a chance, and now the bomb is ticking away. The utility is sailing in to keep this retake from happening. Smokes, mollies, nades, one after another. Nine just can't get the angle for the fight, but somehow in the smoke, Goofy claims the kill. Here's a follow-up. No, they can't get it! And Quartz, a collat to put this one down. And we're going for more. Another round of overtime. What is happening? This is madness. Absolute madness. First player in defense on B had, had no idea players were going to be up that fast. Such a change of pace. And Sinners. Not surprising with a bit of time to have a discussion. They also, you know, they get a new pause every bout of overtime, so they definitely should be using those. We take a bit of a breather. Who's been the monsters? Key is Key actually had a pretty weak start to this map, but he is really fired up, as is Hades. On the flip side, Shock has been superfluous throughout. Quirts, of course, to end the half has been great. I think Oscar's had a lot of impact kills. Pretty good across the board, I think, if you're sinners. Probably worth mentioning when we're during this uh, this pause. A change for this season to previous is that there's two Pro League spots. That's because we've dropped the number of seasons per, uh, per year at the moment. So two chances. Both the finalists are uh, optimal to next year. We do love that. We do love that. Hades. Hades on the line, on the angle. Ooh, they're close up. They're close up. Hades is going to be tested. He's been good so far. He's got to do it again. He's got to do it again. Now he's backing up. Timing might be an issue, but the Molotov goes down. This secures it for him. Sending up a smoke for some cover as well. Wants this fight, wants this duel. Flash pushes Oscar off. There's a chess match between these two offers in the 80s. He's going to get first blood. That's ah, a really nice duel. Just the, the, the utility to set up the fight in his favor. Exactly what you want. Makes nine very comfortable. Now on the defense, no mid pressure yet. Here it comes. Smoke for the red room. Just gonna dunk a nice nade on him. There he goes. Look at that. Juicy. What is the move? They have to commit for a mid. All four players in mid. Counter smoke now and donut. Not a lot of time here for synergy. You need to make a decision. They're gonna take it back towards B. It's kind of the option afforded to you, knowing that that op was on A. But the smoke's already up in cave. There's the shadow spot. Utility comes out. Goofy. Not going to be able to get it. Beastick. Again, a nice opener. That might be enough to get them the foothold here to get a bomb plant. Oh, the cave kill. So important. But key. Mid low. Down on top. Holding on to this. Losing Noroth's not ideal, but the kills are now stacking up. It's just on the quartz. He's only got 15 seconds to go. Wanted to kill the train. Make this a little bit more viable. But the bomb's going to go down at least. No, no, not even that. The spam through is good enough. Nine, pull into the lead once more here in overtime. That was a good round of reactions from Nine. The uh, unsung hero of the round is definitely the late double push through Donut. You can see it here on the minimap. That kills Zedko. If you don't catch Zedko and he gets in behind all the rotating players, that round quickly goes the way of Sinners. But Nine did their due diligence. Played out all the map before thinking about the retake proper. And that's how it should be. Carnage again for them. As mid, during a lot of this game, has been CT Sun. Look at the double nades. That is ruinous. Mortar strike on Sinners. They are licking their wounds. I've lost the B main presence as well. 
well. These dig down for the counts in their opener. For so many of these rounds, damage continuing to land. This is tough now. They need something. They need something to go their way. There's not a lot of presence on A. That's the one thing working in their favor. With this deep control in B main, this deep control in mid, look at the way the presence is shifting now for nine. Bringing Hades over. They got two players in Donut. They're so ready for this hit. Folks gonna section it off. All the utilities being dumped to try and make this possible, to try and get a bomb plant. Might just work. Couple of kills could salt the way forward. But they see this site now, they have to capitalize. And Quartz getting aggressive beyond the smoke drops the bomb now into a double setup in Donut. This should be impossible for Oscar. There should be no way. The first one what? there, the second as well. Oscar, how's he done it? He slipped away with the bomb. Alan, not again. Oscar making magic happen out of nothing. Hades is trying to beat him on the rotation, but it's come down to a 1v1 between these two offers now, and Hades doubting his first read. Gonna be a little late on this rotation, now he knows. Down at the Deeg. Shadow boxing, dueling, but Oscar, he knows the timer's against him. He has to plant this bomb. He has to make the move. We get just enough time to do it, but will he read that Hades is so close now? Oh, he's not ready. And on the switch, Hades shots through the wood panel. Means that it goes the way of nine. Oscar's heroics are all for naught. It was a hell of a good attempt. Got left in a near impossible scenario. I can't believe he got second kill in Donut. That was absolutely bonkers. Whew. We had to fight for that one, did nine. But Hades has been ever consistent, especially late round. Him and Key have started to really streak ahead as we get to the business end of this first map 2-0 in this battle of overtime so far three on the defense would be a massive testament to nine this late in the game and it all goes their way this is so aggressive from both teams in mid but for now trades favor nine and look at this push from key mm. all the yeah, info so much control now if Goofy can hang on, hang on to Cave, this is... It's just, there just shouldn't be anything doing. Hades could catch B-Stick to go for the boost up. They needed something, anything to give him an edge. But it's looking like they're going to get blanked in this half of overtime. Oscar and Zedko, this would need to be the biggest magic trick yet. They're totally encircled now. There's no bailout. There's only forward. And forward into Goofy's gun. We'll leave Zedko all on his lonesome. Oh, oh, all right. Hold on. We're not done just yet. He knows there's the cave player. Ah, oh, Molotov. Gonna limit him. Hades he's is gone. Back to his base. He's just goofy on site. There's a chance here. There is indeed. Goofy's pulling back. Seiko sliding into the angle. Is time enough on this? I don't think Goofy just spotted him. That's a gamble, that's a gamble. Trying to suck the player forward and Goofy ready for it this time. Nine, a flawless half of overtime. Sees them with three chances to close. It's your opponent's map pick as well. It's very well in the series for nine if they can convert. Uh, Asterix and all with the lineup situation. <laughs> Credit to Zedko for a one-on-four, two kills, and he actually isolated a one-on-one -on -one by faking the bomb. That is about as good as it gets, to be honest, a lot of the time, so. Excellent try. But here we go. Side swap, nine on the offense. Three chances to get this done. Nice opener here as they try and drag this one back on the center side. The main aggression works out. Zedko under pressure. But look at how much space they've got. Look at how far forward these, this line of four CTs is from mid to B. Right now, nine have no response. They're waiting to see how far this aggression will go to see if maybe they can punch and counter punch their way back in. Zedko could be in trouble. Good counter. Molly takes an unfortunate bounce. It means that Zedko's alive, but no, he burns. Couldn't get out. 
Nora, even without the guns, is doing work here. Kylar trades in mid, but there's Quartz. There's just too much pressure on this deep presence. They never expected Beastic to be here as well. And Hades is cleaned up. So Sinners, they're not done just yet. They're not done in their map pick. They've got a chance still to fight, to battle on here, to move forward on Ancient. And a timeout's going to come through from nine. We haven't seen a lot of these mm. this game, Alan. But now, as things are getting late, as you're going into the absolute depths of your playbook, they call a timeout. It's also the recognition that this is your best chance. Don't let three map points slip without a proper discussion. Um, I imagine what they're discussing is how to deal with the aggression. You can fight fire with fire. You can try and take spawns, perhaps, and get into Jag. Um, what we saw here was half in, half out. He was committed, but his teammates were not. And they weren't ready to flash over and help him fight. That is the worst of both worlds. Um... They're going to do something. You have to be on the same page. And I imagine... Norop, Hades, the main men, chiming in. Because you can't allow another round to go in that fashion. See what can change. of utility all across the map. Quartz trying to get some information here on this aggression. The spam obviously gives up the information, but he's not really finding anything for it. Tiny bit of damage on a Narot. Nothing conclusive. Shock's playing this way. He has to be wary of the smoke fading. Indeed, his life is lost. This is what Nine were waiting for. Now they move in. Oh, but Quartz! Quartz! Ah, so snappy on the shots. Ooh. What a way to answer back. What a way to answer back. Nine, doing everything right. And then just deleted. Put so much pressure. He's still going. Oscar here. But he's ready for it. Quartz still finding kills. Leaves everything on Hades. It's just nothing doing. Harassment with the utility, keeping him off of it. He's got the bomb. At least that's something. Oh, he slipped the cap. He can't unscope here. An audio cue would be his death. I don't think there's time to pull this one off. There is. 20 He's seconds. He's sowing a lot of doubt. Look at the CTs. He's going to take a shot. Now it's a foot race. Now it's a foot race, and he knows it. 15 seconds. He could do this. He could do this. The problem is B-Stick here in towards Cave. He's just going to have to gamble that he's not here, and indeed, it's a gamble that doesn't pay off. B-Stick stuck around, and so Sinners will close the gap to just one round needed to send us to not one, not two, but three. Oh. That second kill from Quartz is just an assassination. My god. This is some of the best CS I've seen him play, and obviously, you know, mentioned it before the show. It's not a team or a region that's conducive to, to producing that many top flight players. It's just the reality of their player pool. But Quartz has been brilliant. What a find for that team. And he might be the man that can actually save them. From three map points for nine. This is the third and the final. My god, are you going to be heartbroken if you can't win one of these? Look at this, look at this. It's all in the mid fight. The flashbang is so lethal! Shock and Zedko just shut it all down. And I mean, this is all on Hades. He's already thinking oh it's my. over. It's Quartz who puts the final shot in fittingly. We're going again. Three rounds run back in a row here to bring us to a third overtime. This is just the game that just won't quit, Alan. And I, I don't even want it to. It's good all the way through. Getting better. The, I mean, the, the CS in regulation at times is a bit scrappy, a bit wild. It is, there's layers now. There is... You know, nine sit out of mid because they don't want to get hit by the early nades. They do a delayed take. Sinners are ready for it and then spring their trap as players come out. This is what we love to see. Every round is more information feeding into each team's machine. They make those small adjustments. What we end up with is some aggressive, some wild, some wacky, straight fire counter strike. Look at this. Key has had enough of sitting passive behind the doors. Not going to allow Beastick to get aggressive for free. Norwich mid. Open for business. Oh, the leg. Oh! 
The counter punch, Setko, how are you doing this? 2v3, this round back and forth like a yo-yo. And now Oscar's trying to get aggressive. Might be overplaying his hand there. Shot doesn't land. He's lucky to be alive. Molotov will give him at least the space to get away. Benarat's got the ball back. They've got a choice. They know the AWP is here. They also know he's pretty tagged up. Do they want to try and pressure B? No. They'll rotate away. So it's going to be pressure on the Quartz. Now, so far, Quartz has been a diamond under this pressure. This time, he wants to get active. It's a big if, but if he can catch the bomb. Ah, oh, I want to keep pushing. I mean, Norat's tagged up enough. That one think is enough from the M4. They're going to take it mid. That'll keep options open. Smoke in the red room. Uh, it's pulling off to mm, What are they doing? There's so much hinging on where this bomb commits, and the position from Quartz is so strong if they ended A. A bomb plant is tough, and then some. You can see Norris is sticking here, because he's, he's trying to get the, basically the feelers towards either side. Any kind of information, and that's it. That's it. They've got the kill on Oscar. Bomb's headed B. Bomb's headed B. Goofy's cleared this out. He's got all the information. He won his duel. And Quartz might as well be in Timbuktu. There's much point in down. saving. This should be an impossible situation for Quartz. Has been spotted? He has indeed. Key will put the final wow. shot in. Nine. Strike first in triple OT. That was some serious composure from nine at the end. How many teams just, just go? Send it to the side. There were 14 seconds when they actually made it. To the right at the end. Uh, and you were right. I mean, they just had no info that all they could do is essentially send out physical probes to see what is going on just in the nick of time goofy does fell oscar first blow third ot goes the way of nine and this mid again it's so many similar rounds again swing off his ledge position oscar this time has learned his lesson he moves into jonah he capitalizes we're trying to make a play but they know what he's up to Good stuff from nine. This is that moment for nine where we see them freeze up, waiting for the counter punch, might waiting lose for something. Bomb. And this time it's double aggression out of a main, and we might just find bomb before anyone else. Yeah. Does. Who's gonna go back for this? Oh, this is such a. It's a kill. Bit of a mess of it, but it's been a lot of rounds of Counter Strike. That's an interesting one. Now they found bomb. I think yeah. Zenko just spotted it. Yeah. So you know where this last player is. They got, got time. They know they got a pendant now. Bees is just going to sit in the cubby. Hmm. Key is a fantastic player. He is incredible. Finding ways out of difficult situations. But this... The CTs are so well set up. The moment he makes a move, they're covering everything. Jiggle from Zedko. All now holding. One, two, punch. Perfect. 19 all. It's truly really a hopeless situation, right? I mean, look at what we got here, right? They got the one P round. They could get any more. Than <laughs> it's great from Oscar. I really think it's a good round. So they defaulted so many similar rounds to that when they're coming fast off. Uh, off the ledge to try and get mid that way. He punishes. No, no flashes onto him. Kylar. He's up here in mid. He will not. For the last lap of Beast, it gets kills elsewhere. So keep the numbers even. I think I need to go. All the eggs are in the B basket. All four here. Very hard to move. They want this cave play, perhaps? They're fighting the window of Grashen Quartz. It's going to be on his shoulders again. He's been so good from this position. He sees all the utility flying past. He's just waiting for his moment to shine. It's not there yet. The patient, R9. Now he's going to make the move himself. Catches a player with the utility out. Oscar tapped one on as well. The health's not good for sinners. Nobody is above half health. But they have the man. They have the numbers. 
how they don't. Oscar getting a little frisky with it. Little toes he's sticking around the corner. Means all the pressure is onto a very wounded shot. He can't risk that Molotov. Can't do it. Even one tick is punishing. Find it. Smoke out, flash out. Key lives, limps away. Bomb could be down. Norot's taking it forward for the fight. Norot. Everything hinges on this, but they're not expecting it. And now a 1v2. Bomb planted. All the weight of the world on Zedko, and he's not up to wow. it. That is wild. That round was an advantage sinners the whole way. Especially here. As soon as the 4v2. And they knew where the last two players were. Well, at least had a pretty good guess. There was way too much moving around for Sinners. They should have just committed. Yeah, retake A if it comes to it. You had a lot of info that it was going to be B. Instead, you just saw it. I mean, it got, to, it got to the point that Oscar felt like I had to get aggressive. He had to get aggressive because they were just running out of presence. And that is their undoing. This is good for nine. One round up, now on the defense. They scored three in a row on their last defensive side in overtime. It goes very well. One for one from Goofy, but that's information on. The fast flank is here from Key. Oh, the shot misses. A rare miss from Oscar, and he is punished for it. And now, well, they might have the sight, but Quirtz doesn't feel comfortable moving up, knowing the Key is the omnipresent threat. And he started to clear back in. Huge kill for Zedko. Had to have it. It's all about this flank. Quartz is frozen, trying to anticipate it, waiting for shock to get back around into the angle to try and pinch key it might work out timing is everything here key found but zenko lost the seesaw this goes up and down and up and down and now the bomb is dropped shock a 1v2 with no bomb control has to try and define this engagement just let the angle into the cave kylar comes off of it there's the check there it is kylar's got it map point found one more round mm. and this time is on the defense this time is on the defense key tally racks up to 40 flags and that was a lot, a lot of fright <laughs> he's really spooled up he has been excellent towards the end of regulation even better in overtime and he's way ahead of his teammates. Haley just trying to keep up, but he is just getting better and better and better. He plays so many important positions on this map too. Oh my oh. lord, where has that come from? Perfect flash. Quartz puts his foot down and says, I can get onto 39. I smell 42. Look at the bomb. Look at the bomb. If Key just goes spawn, he's not doing it. But there's still, still good. a chance. Key's got to kill. Oh no, Sinners is going to realize. Oh crap. We left the bomb way back. He's never going to look, though. He's never going to check. You can see Zedko's on high alert. But he's just going to be able to walk in. This round is still on, you know. They are so far from getting onto a site because of this shenanigans. They don't know where Key is. They're having to take it ever so slow in case he springs a trap. Sinners are playing nervous right now. The question is, does Oscar realize that Hades has cleared off of B and just call him back? There's time. There's 50 seconds. That's not the pressure yet, but they're going into mid. Hades is here with the op. Oh, Hades is gone. Key has to do it all. 41 kills to his name. And he's got to find three more if it's going to end now. And I just don't. It's not looking possible. It's not looking viable. Bomb's going to be down. Mm. He's once again just on the wrong site entirely. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> this game. It, it, just, it just keeps going. It just keeps going, Alan. Such a small thing, but the speed at which Oscar there... Oscar was in cave when they got that kill onto, um, onto Hades. The speed at which Oscar immediately knew, Key's not here. I knew He knew he was, you know, whatever, push through mid uh, in towards T-spawn. He just knew. And that instant reaction can make all the difference. He does have a kit. Um, he does have a kit. They've left it? He could stick it? He doesn't risk it. Yeah. He could have won that. It was in the realms. He doesn't have a smoke. Um, and he doesn't know just how far off they were. But there was definitely a window right there.
Oh, what a way that would have been to end the game. What a way that would have been, but it's not to be. And once again, it comes down to the final round. Nine. Need to clinch it here. But for Sinner, we could go again. We could go another round. We could go for four OTs. Just one more required. They got it in them. Look at this call. Cool. Fast play. Oh my no on A. They're not set for this. This has never happened through all 41 rounds. This is a new look. Oh! oh! Hades, it's not a kill. It was a collapse shot on the two players, but not a kill. And now the bodies are dropping for nine. Oh, fast and furious they go. It's all a Nora. And this is too much to ask. Too much to ask of anyone, much less a coach standing in. We're going for more. We're going for more. Oscar finds his third kill. We're going for four overtimes. I can't believe it. Did Hades got a, what, a double leg? It must have been. Yeah. Uh, it was a shot through like a shoulder into a thigh. Wow. Uh, he was so close to going for two torsos there and making that, frankly, ending the game. This just, this just gets more and more entertaining the further we go. OT4. If this goes the distance, we have played two maps of Modern Counter-Strike on MR12. That is... That is the realms we are in. At what point does stamina become a factor? There are no breaks. There's no extended pauses. You've got your extra time out every bout of overtime, but that's all you've got in terms of slowing the pace of this game. now for sinners found on in and look at shock mm. shock has walked on the a on the other side of the map there's a player in donut but nora has no idea now they can rotate the bomb this site is lost this half of the map is lost nine have no answer for sinners here how do you even get back into this round i don't think you do i think you stay b and pray pray they make a mistake and it's not gonna happen look how clinical this is re-smoke as well might take any chance. Mm. This is... I'm trying to think if I'm correct about this. I... Alan, I think this is Sinner's first lead of overtime. Assuming Kyler and Hayes don't bring this back. Reminder, they were the first team to find map point in regulation. 12 to that 10. That was like went. so long ago. <laughs> it, it, We've lit where we're... we're... You know, we're approaching, well, a team will need to win another map, essentially, to win this, in, in, if you combine the overtimes. I mean, that was 21 rounds ago. Yeah. Was when they reached 12 10. God. I casted an age again earlier. This map might be longer. <laughs> then that whole... Field yeah, three. that was a free map series as well, but this is a... Uh, just... just uh, I don't think it would be in terms of time, but in terms of just feels the rounds are strung out. There's a lot more Counter Strike being played here. What 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 is amazing, and we touched on this a couple times here in overtime, is that often when you get this deep into the playbook, into overtime, it just feels like teams are throwing it at each other. You know, sandbox just just, just strats are broken down. We we haven't really hit that point yet. It still feels like there's plays and counter plays in a way that keeps delivering we're going fast a again fast a again three players set up for it this time it looks What's good i mean position? look at look at the cc positioning two starting in mid now kyla's peeling off where's he gonna a slower with to? it this time that smoke should buy some time they could go through this if they want to but we can see the the real gap that needs to be exploited is mid oh my lord they're going this is wild the smoke will keep Hades focused in mid. They need this kill on Kylar. They know he's back boxes now. Utility can come out to pressure him. There's going to be the nade. He's low. Molotov gets him. Now it's all about this donut presence. Hades baited out of the first shot. And oh, ho, ho. shock is past his angle. Shock is past his angle. Towards mid. I don't know if Cheese going to be ready for this. Quartz gets the first kill. That'll keep the focus. It's all about shock now. Can he catch the rotation? 
can indeed. Noron's never ready for this. Now they're hemmed in. Key's down. It's over. Hades never had a chance to even fight into this round. The bomb is down. He'll get one. But that might just be a pity kill. Surely there's no way. Surely not. It's made magic happen before, so we won't count him out just yet. And now we will. He's bailing mm -hmm. out. He's trying to keep the AWP alive into the next round. Beastick may not even allow that. But Sinners, after so long on the back foot, now they've found two attacking rounds here. In the fourth period of overtime, they're in the lead. They're in control. And nine are left scrambling for answers. That was a epic from Sinners. The power of that one mid-nade set to open up the contact play, to force a one-on-one, -on -one, which is hard, really hard in T-side counter-strike against the top team, to force a real one-on-one, -on -one, and they did. They had Kyla pinned, dead to rights. Similar default for Sinners with numbers A at the start. They might run a very similar round, especially once they twig. There is mid and B aggression out from nine. Found. Straight on towards Cypher. Control the over here. Hades. An important kill to keep his team in this round. Now, the numbers are starting to stack up. They've been strung out. This A approach has finally been answered. The numbers are here. But it's not over yet. There's a minute left on this clock. B stick into tree. They can afford to put some time in this. Oscar's gonna leave. Doesn't know if he's been flanked out, but he can just leave. And B-Stick is the secret trap here. As Nine starting to clear this vision, do they check? Is Kyla ready? Is the presence of mind there? No, not at all. He never would have expected this. And now the kill comes through. The numbers are evened, and that's going to be Oster coming back around still. Oh, B-Stick holds the line. I was going to say it's not an easy sight to take, but now it is just Hades here in Donut. Just one man and a smoke oh. over the bomb plant shot just missing. Tracing an outline of Oscar, and that's going to be map point now found for Sinners. They only need one. Another flawless half comes through, and Sinners just need one final one to correct all the blunders here of overtime. Seal the deal on their map pick. Oh, that was wild. Hades was so close to dropping the bomb. And then it would have been a mad scramble. But instead, the free piece, all free for Sinners on the T side. Three chances on the defense of a map like Ancient. They have played some fine CT rounds already in this colossus of a map. Doesn't get any better than this. Nine need to do something unbelievable to stay in this map. God, they're burning a lot of nades on mid. Four smokes. <gasps> He's pulled the rotate. And they're all the way out. Shaw has to win this fight. He does, but off the trade still, at least gives them a chance. So it's a prime opportunity. The bomb's a little bit lagging behind. This will allow the CTs to get into some positions. Donut fight could be huge. Narot's already passed it. They're not going to go for this donut fight, but that's going to make plenty of tough. He's taking out. They're not looking for it. The adjustment's there in time for Goofy. It stays even. Back and forth we go. They know they have Oscar here, but the bomb pointing forward. Oh, no. It was Zedko they had. Oscar's the threat. The bomb's now dropped nine. It could all be over here. He and Goofy still live. Keys down. It has to be Goofy. The bomb of the board has got to be the hero, and it's not to be. Oscar has put this one to bed. Sinners have done it. Four rounds in a row in the fourth overtime to finally seal the deal here on Ancient. What a tremendous map of Counter-Strike. What an incredible game we just won.